Hello, Data Voyagers. I am Igor Alcantara, and I'm excited to show you the newest addition to the Click Analytics platform. Please, let's give a warm welcome to Dataflow, an incredible tool that I had the privilege to test and help evaluate. Click Dataflow, it's finally here, so let's go for a quick all you need to know in less than five minutes. This video was recorded before the release of this final version, so be aware that small details might look slightly different. Click Data Flow is a near no code tool that helps you to create click scripts with a very simple and intuitive graphical user interface. It is not a replacement to Click Data Manager. Click Data Manager is intended to prepare a data model within a Click application. Click Data Flow adds a layer to a script object where you add one or more inputs of data, transform it in a graphical action flow, and save it as one or multiple output destinations. You can find the Click Data Flow under Create or Prepare Data sections within the Click Cloud Hub. Once you give it a name and selected space, you can start creating your flows. On this example, I am using Click Data Flow to prepare my data for an auto ML experiment for a medical research. On the Assets panel, you have three main areas, sources, processors, and targets. Sources are your data inputs. Targets are your data outputs. And processors are the transformation actions you can perform. You need at least one of each of these to be able to run a data flow. Start by defining one or more sources for your data flow. Add items to the data flow by simply dragging them to the canvas. On the right side, you will find the properties of the selected object. Configure each object and save your edits to enable it and remove potential warning messages. Drag a connector between each block to indicate the sequence they should be executed in a relationship between them. There are multiple types of processors, each one responsible to perform one specific task. You can join tables, concatenate, add calculated fields, rename, extract data properties, and many more. You can also split the flow in different branches performing pseudo-parallel processing. In this case, I am using gender to identify different types of cancer prevalence. In some rare cases, you want to perform more complex tasks and we don't find any specific processor for that one. No worries. In my case, for example, I am using randomization to further split my dataset into training and validation. In that case, I used a click script processor that gives you all the flexibility you need. Once you completed all the transformation steps, you can add one or more target blocks to save the output of your work. Data flows can run manually or they can be scheduled. This is the end of this quick tutorial. If you want to see more, leave a comment and I will record a more detailed training soon. If you like this, make sure to share it and follow Data Voyages on both LinkedIn and on YouTube. Goodbye and have fun exploring.